Are you ready for a photography challenge? Well, you came to the right place. I do this with my photography club from time to time. If you see in some of my videos or my blog posts, you can see that I'm fond of list of seven, where I have you do seven different photos. It's a little bit different. We're gonna talk about reflections. Stick with me at the end and I'll give you a bonus to this challenge. I have two examples to show you. Um, both of them are from Spring Grove Cemetery located near Cincinnati, Ohio. Beautiful, beautiful place to go take photos. If you're in this area and you're not familiar with it, uh, go check it out. If you ever visit, check out Spring Grove Cemetery. But this first photo, you'll notice is a very, very large tree. I threw a small rock in the water to create a ripple. The water was very still. So there's a little tip. You can play with reflections, interact with your reflection if it's possible, if you got water. The second photo, like I said, is also in Spring Grove Cemetery. This was two swans, they were nesting, and one of the swans was about to go tell the geese to leave them alone. So I'll show you this photo, and I actually created a, a, a grid of the same photo. One of these photos are upside down. And I'm gonna see if you can guess which one is which. If you wanna to try to guess before I tell you, pause the video. But in the meantime, if you're enjoying my videos, hit the like and subscribe for me, and give me a comment down below that you've seen my video and what you're doing with this challenge. So back to the swan photo. The photo on the left is the one that is right side up. Did you get it right? So let's get creative with this challenge. I promised you that we'd get creative at the end. I've always had a list of sevens. I've got multiple challenges like that. I've got a couple of videos I'll link at the end. So if you wanna see the list of seven challenges, I've got two of them. I've done more. I'll make more videos for more, more list of sevens. But for this one, we're gonna make the whole month of May reflections. But the challenge is, see how many different reflection photos you can get in seven days. Bonus points if you get it without water. So reflections in mirrors, in glass, car windows, uh, off of a bottle, something like that. Something that's different. The water is the easiest and probably the go-to for reflections. So what are you waiting for? Grab your camera, get your game on, and go out and get some reflection photos. As always, thanks for watching. It's Doug Gabbard, Practicing Photography, getting better one photo at a time.